New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has made a name for himself on the national political stage. Now his wife, New Jersey's first lady, Mary Pat Christie, is stepping into the spotlight to help people in her state deal with the devastation of Superstorm Sandy. Today, contributing correspondent Jenna Bush Hager caught up with her. More than two weeks ago when Sandy hit, the coast of New Jersey was forever changed. And although the state's first lady, Mary Pat Christie, has stayed out of the spotlight, the devastation of Sandy is personal. In our town in particular, Mendham was really devastated mm -hmm. as well. And has redefined her role. You really want to completely focus on the people. And there. there's no guy. I've never done this before, nor has my husband. But um, I think that we're all kind of inspired by my husband. We're on the road to recovery. And we all kind of are ready to roll up our sleeves and, and get to work. Together, the Christies are spearheading the Hurricane Sandy New Jersey Relief Fund, a foundation focusing on rebuilding the state they love. So our goal is really to be there for the long term, and this takes a long time, but I think their, their spirits need that support. Here in Seabright, New Jersey, a community washed away by the storm, Connor and Karen Tressa come back to assess the damages of their family-run pizzeria. Overwhelmed by the destruction, a comforting embrace. <laughs> it's empathy that's not hard to come by. Even the governor's family lost power. I think like most New Jerseyans, we probably played more games than we know what to do with, you know, a catchphrase and uh, categories became a highlight of our day. But I think that we really were just thinking about the people that were suffering so much more than us. Has it been hard to watch your husband go through and watching your state be affected the way that this has? It definitely has been. I think that after the 16, 18 hour days that my husband comes home, not only is he exhausted physically, but it definitely is mentally draining to come and you know hug people who have lost their life savings and their, I mean, their, their world, really. If the storm of the century had a starring character, it'd be the New Jersey governor. You've obviously known your husband for a, a long time, 26 yeah. years. Mm -hmm. You've been married, but has the way he's led surprised you at all through this? Um, not really, not really, <laughs> because I've seen him in management situations before that are challenging, and he kind of gets a group of people around the table and is very good at listening, but then quickly deciding and delegating. Is it hard to be back at a place where you brought your kids? I mean, you have such family memories. Oh, oh, sure, sure. I think people saw the governor at yep. Casino Pier. I was on that ride with Bridget in, uh, in August. And Casino Pier, I mean, that was our big night out with the children. I mean, my, my children are just, it sounds almost small, but that's their childhood. A doting wife, mother of four, and working woman, still finding time to visit the front lines, providing comfort and long-term support for the citizens she loves. We will rebuild, bigger and stronger. For today, Jenna Bush Hager, Seabright, New Jersey.